Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today for story time. My name is Lucy and I'm really excited to be here with you today. Before we get started with our stories, let's sing a little song so we can get kind of warmed up, loosened up. If you want to stand up and sing with me, you can do that or you can sit down, that's fine too. <laughs> loosened up. Can I see your hands up here? And we're going to get our beat going. Ready? Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Hands again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello down there. Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. <laughs> Hands again, bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. One more time. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as soft as we can. Shh. Hello. Okay. Can you put your hands forward like this and flip them over? Get ready to sing with me. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Ah, but you don't let them in. Open, shut them, open, shut them to your shoulders. Fly, fly, fly. Higher, 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 high like birds in the sky. Falling, falling, slowly fall like raindrops to the ground. Quickly pick them up again and turn them round and round. Ready? Faster, 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 still. Faster, 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 still. Faster, 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 still. And slowly slow them down. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Nice job. Thanks for singing with me. Okay, so now that we have said hello to each other, it is time for us to see what kind of story we'll be doing today. So let me grab my story box. We'll sing our little song. Ready? 
What's inside the story box, the story box, the story box? What's inside the story box, story box today? Really don't hear anything. Whatever is in there is very quiet. Let's take a look. Oh, Ooh. interesting. What is this? It looks like a letter. It says, story time friends. I'll read it, okay? Oh look, there's a whole letter for us. It says, dear story time friends, we, are going to have so much fun with stories all about letters and mail. Thanks for tuning in the story box. Yep, we're gonna do letters, stories all about letters and mail today. So that's why we got a letter in the story box. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's sing the alphabet and we can think about what word letter starts with and what word mail starts with. So letters, uh, uh, uh. That's an L and mail. It's the same letter as mom and mustard and monkey. It's an M. And what's really neat about L and M in the alphabet, look at that, you see them? They're right next to each other. That green one there is the L and the yellow one is the M. Okay, ready to sing the alphabet with me? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? All right, good job with the alphabet there. So the first story I have for you about letters and mail is this one here called It Came in the Mail by Ben Clanton. Oh, look, look at those pages full, letters and mail. Liam loved getting mail. Hooray! It is exciting, isn't it? Too bad he never got any. Boogers, he says. He checked daily. Nope, not daily. They crossed that out. Hourly. Oh, not hourly. That's crossed out too. Every few seconds. But found... Diddly squat, which is another way for saying nothing. But then, on a day much like any other, an idea struck Liam. Boink, there's the idea. If he sent some mail, then maybe he'd get some in return. Gotta go write a letter. See you, Jamal. Uh, okay. Not sure who to send something to. There's Liam writing his letter, but he doesn't know who to write it to. Liam sent a letter to his mailbox. It's kind of like a letter from the story box, right? Dear mailbox, I would like to get something in the mail. Something big, please. Love, Liam. As soon as Liam put the letter in the box, the mailbox began to shake and it started to make all sorts of strange sounds. Wink, whirr, toot, squabble, whirr, whoop. And when Liam looked inside, oh my goodness, he was met by a blast of Fire! A dragon had come in the mail. And it was for Liam. <gasps> See, it says for Liam. It's really some mail, huh? Liam loved the 
dragon, but he couldn't wait to see what he might get next. So he's writing another letter. Dear Mailbox, thank you for the fire-breathing dragon. It is just what I always wanted. Can you send me more stuff, please? Love, Liam. P.S. You are the best mailbox ever. Soon, the mailbox was spitting out all sorts of things. Look, there's some pigs, an air whale instead of air mail. That looks like a dinosaur skull, a trombone. Pickles, pigs, a whale with wings. Yep, a trombone, a triceratops bone, even a funny bone. Liam liked it all. He liked it all so much that he wanted more. Dear Mailbox, you send the best mail. I would love it if you would send me a, and he wrote a hundred and he crossed it out and he said a gazillion more things. Love, Liam. Creek, rattle, bumble. Oodles and oodles of mail flooded out of the mailbox. Oh my gosh, look. It's like a whole ocean came out of there and a pig and a boat and an octopus and a rubber tire and an elephant coming out of the mailbox. So much stuff. Uh-oh, too much mail. There's a peach and a basketball and a this guy with a mustache and, oh, it's a snail and a giant robot all coming out of that little mailbox. <gasps> what was Liam to do with it all? Whoa, awesome. Along comes his friend Jamal who thinks that the pile of stuff that Liam is under is pretty cool. And then another idea struck Liam. He probably wasn't the only kid who had ever wanted to get mail. Have you ever wanted to get mail? It's pretty fun, right? Where are you going now, asked Jamal. Gotta write a letter, said Liam. Again, dear mailbox, Thank you for all the mail, but I think it's maybe too much for just me. Could you help me send some of it to other kids? Love, Liam. And with some help from the mailbox, look, he has to shove the elephant back in there. Ooh, I bet Amelia would love this thing, he thinks. And then there's Amelia. Rattle, rattle, rattle from the mailbox. Liam was soon mailing things to kids all over the place. Liam found he rather liked sending stuff. He liked it so much that before long, almost everything was gone. That was okay with Liam. He could always ask the mailbox for more. Look, there's Jamal on the horse with wings. Woohoo! As Liam rides off on his dragon saying, faster. And he decides maybe he'll wait till some other time to ask for more mail. The end. Okay, the next mail story I have for us is this one here called Dear Zoo. And I wanted to get a pet. So I thought that a good place to get a pet would be from the zoo. So I wrote to the zoo and I asked for a pet. And they sent me, whoa, that box there, it says very heavy. <gasps> what do you think's inside? Oh, they sent me an elephant. It was too big. So I sent it back and I asked for another pet 
And then they sent me this tall box that says fragile. I can see someone peeking out of the top, but when I open the box, oh, they sent a giraffe. It was too tall for a pet. So I sent it back. Next, they sent me, oh, that says danger. Hmm, I wonder what kind of pet will be in there. Oh no, they sent me a lion. That lion was too fierce. So I had to send it back. Oh, then the zoo sent me something else big blue crate that says, with care. Who is that? That's a camel. And you know what? That camel was too grumpy to be a nice pet. So I had to send it back. Well, then they sent me this very interesting basket. And when I opened it up, Oh no, it was a snake. It was a little too slithery for me. So I had to send that snake back. Well, what do you think the zoo sent me next? A pretty small little box. When I opened it up, it was a monkey. I was pretty excited, but you know what? That monkey was so mischievous. That monkey got in so much trouble. I had to send the monkey back. So then they sent me an even smaller box. Could be good. A nice small pet. Well, I opened it up and inside was a cute little frog. But you know what? That little frog jumped everywhere. I could not keep that frog in one place. Too jumpy. So I had to send it back. And then I got a little package from the zoo that said, with love. And when I opened it up, inside it was a dog. It was perfect. The perfect pet for me. The end. Okay, I have a little mail time rhyme to do with you. You're gonna need to hold your fingers up so we can count to eight. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you can hold eight fingers up. That's all the fingers on one hand and three fingers on another hand. We're gonna go like this. Early in the morning at eight o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Lucy. You can put your own name in and you can jump up. Up jumps Lucy to answer the door. One letter, two letters, three letters, four. You have four fingers up. Okay, so let's do that again. Now that you know how to do it, get your eight fingers up. Ready? Early in the morning at eight o'clock, you can hear the postman knock. Up jumps Lucy to answer the door. One letter, two letters, three letters, four. Great job. Look, I got some mail. Let's count the letters. One, two, three, four, five. I wonder who these letters are from. Will you help me guess? Okay, I'll open this one. One little letter I got in the mail here. It says, Dear friend, I'm lonely. Could you please put a friend in my bowl? Hmm. Love fish. Did you guess fish for that one? I wonder if these letters are all from pets. Let's see. Let's read the next one. There's one, two, three, four. I think I'll read this red one up here. D 
dear friends, I'm looking forward to sleeping all winter. Hmm, maybe not pets, but all animals. Do you know an animal that likes to sleep all winter? Did you guess who it's from? Yep, it says love bear. That one's from a bear. Cool. Okay, we have one, two, three letters left. Which color should I read next? Green? Okay, I'll read green. Hmm. Dear friends, if you have any cheese, can you please leave it by my hole? Who do you think wrote that letter? Who likes cheese and might live in a little hole? Did you guess? Did you guess mouse? Yeah, that was a letter from a mouse. Okay, only two letters left. I think I'll read the blue one. Dear friends, can you please visit me in my tree? I want you to see my new nest. Huh, who lives in a tree in a nest? Yeah, a bird, did you guess that? There it is, there's a bird in its nest. Great, I wonder who this last letter will be from. Dear friends, can we play fetch soon? Hmm, what kind of animal likes to play fetch? Do you have an animal that likes to play fetch? Look at this, aw, love dog. That was so fun to get all that mail from all those different animals. Thanks for helping me guess who it was from. Okay, before we do our last story, Let's stand up and do a song so we can stretch out a little bit. All right, ready? Got your head, got your shoulders, your knees, your toes. All right, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head. Shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Wanna go faster? Can you do it? All right, ready? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. And eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. That wasn't that hard. What if we went backwards? So we're gonna start with our toes. Okay, ready? Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head. Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head, and mouth and nose and ears and eyes. Toes, knees, shoulders, head, shoulders, head. Could you do it? Did you do it backwards? Great job. All right. It is time for our last story about mail and letters. And this one is called A Letter for Leo. That's Leo right there. Leo is the mailman of a little old town. He carries all kinds of mail. Big boxes, small packets, envelopes of every size, catalogs, love letters, birthday cards. He carries it all. Look, that looks like a dog bone shaped package for that dog. Got a box for a fish and a love letter for a squirrel. Often he stops to play a game of bocce with his friends. He's playing bocce ball right there. Or sits down for a moment to rest and chat. Leo has a pleasant life, except for one thing with all the mail that he delivers every day, he has never received a letter himself. Maybe tomorrow, he sighs. One morning, Leo is about to open the mailbox when he hears, Cheep. What could that be, he 
wonders? Who are you? That little bird was inside the mailbox. Jeep. Where do you come from, Jeep? Jeep. Oh, you must have lost touch with your flock. You are too little to fly south by yourself. See how small Cheap is? Leo brought Cheap home and gave him some sun-dried crickets. Mm. He always keeps in his satchel for emergencies. What should I do with you? I guess I'll take you home with me. He's riding in his hat. I hope you'll be comfortable here. Oh, look, he makes cheap a little perch on top of a lamp. Time goes by. There's Cheap helping Leo deliver the mail. Leo and Cheap are now a little family. Cheap, says Cheap. Yes, Leo says, that's snow. Oh, they build a snowman. When springtime comes, the birds leave their warm winter homes and fly north. Cheap is a big little bird now, and he is ready to go. Oh. Cheap, says Cheap. Cheap, says Leo. There Cheap goes, flying off with the other birds. Leo goes back to life as it was before Cheap. He's just delivering mail to everyone. And there he's checking the mailbox and he's talking to some friends. But what he was hoping for, do you remember what Leo never got before? Has finally arrived. <gasps> Leo got a letter of his own. And can you guess what it says? The end. All right, well, that is all of the stories that I have today about mail and letters. So if you want to get up and you can dance, move around while we say goodbye, you can go ahead and dance any way you want to. Dance any way you please. Dance any way you want to. But stop when I please. Did you freeze? Okay. Let's, let's fly like cheap. Ready? Fly any way you want to. Fly any way you please. Fly any way you want to. But stop when I say freeze. Okay. Frozen friends. Are you frozen with your wings out? Let's jump. Jump any way you want to, jump any way you please, jump any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. All right, one more time, let's dance and dance as fast as you can. Ready? Dance any way you want to, dance any way you please, dance any way you want to, but stop when I say freeze. <laughs> Did you stop? All right, good job. Thanks so much for listening to stories with me today. Let's wiggle, wiggle fingers way up to the sky. Wiggle, wiggle fingers, wave them all good.